Tonga's volcanic erupt apparently disrupted cultivation in Maine. When the Tonga volcano erupted 18 months ago in the Pacific, it set off a chain of events that Maine's farmers and herders would have to deal with for at least the next few years. While climatologists aren't ready to say Maine's growing season is in permanent flux, it's becoming increasingly unpredictable. There have been a lot of extremes even in the last few months, said Sean Burkle, a state climatologist at the Climate Change Institute at the University of Maine at Orono. Next year could bring very different weather patterns, and, based on one very warm year, we cannot conclude there is any long-term change. Words, next year could be very different from this year's warm and rainy summer. And this year is very different from previous years. In something as dependent on the weather as growing crops, that adds a layer of uncertainty to an already unpredictable practice. Scientists observed the formation of an ozone hole over Antarctica much earlier than usual this year, triggering warnings of potential consequences for the Southern Ocean and Antarctic sea ice. Satellite data from the European Center for Medium Range Weather Forecasts ECMWF, reveals the early appearance of the ozone hole, which could become larger than average by 2023. As reported in a recent paper published in the S Open Archives, yet to be peer-reviewed, the larger-than-usual hole may be caused by changes in the atmosphere due to a Tonga volcanic eruption in 2022. It must have been very early. We wouldn't normally expect that, said co-author Dr. Martin Jucker lecturer at the Center for Climate Change Research at the University of New South Wales. Typically, the ozone hole begins to form towards the end of September, peaks in October and closes in November or December. The Antarctic ozone hole is a repeated thinning of the ozone layer in the stratosphere, consisting of ozone molecules that absorb harmful ultraviolet radiation from the sun. Over time, the ozone hole has gradually recovered due to international efforts, including the 1989 Montreal Protocol which significantly reduced ozone-depleting chemicals.